ladies, I'm back. Right, um, quickly, because my iPad's actually playing up. I don't know what the heck's wrong with it. It's doing me knowing. <laughs> you have to excuse the mess. Just pretend that's not there, okay? It's your imagination. Right, I've covered all of these doilers. Uh, the back with felt, a circle of felt. This is my scrimpy way of doing a doiler book. Um, because doilers are getting now where they're expensive. I mean, they used to be ten a penny. Even to me, I used to be able to pick them up for next to nothing and I can't anymore. Um, I don't know if they've cottoned on or what, but um, I'm going to have to start going to car boots to get hold of these because the charity shops are now starting to um, price them at like a pound each and stuff and I'm not, I aren't paying that. I'll crochet them myself first, but the vintage ones are nicer. Um, you know, people don't... Um, crochet as much as they used to because they just don't have the, you know, um, a lot of ladies have to work now, don't they? Um, at one time a lot of ladies would uh, stay at home and look after the children or, you know, crochet on a night. Now we all sit in front of Google Box or on YouTube. <laughs> so I've backed them all. Um, so it's a, it's a, it's an economical way of using your doilies to make a doiler book. Okay. You'll have to excuse the flashing, it's because I've got my iPad the other way around to film and it's leaning against something to prop it up. So if it looks like the light's flashing, that's why. Um, I'm too lazy to charge my camera up. So, so far on this one, this is going to be my front page. I love, 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 love Lily. Lily Elise, she's an actress. I've used her loads on my projects because I really, really like it. This is just simpler uh, printer paper. Printed it off of the internet from Pinterest. If you're stuck for vintage images, go to my about page and click on my pit link to my Pinterest. Go on, vin on my folder that says vintage images and pinch them. Okay, don't, don't pay for vintage images. Uh, amount of ladies that do, it, it shocks me. And all I've done is I've stuck her down onto the fabric with my new favorite glue, which is tacky glue. And then I've just gone over her very delicately with a very soft brush and some of this decamash. Now I like using this, it dries um, dry to the touch. PVA and I've heard Mod Podge can dry a bit sticky and a bit tacky, this doesn't, it dries almost so dry that it's like if you get it on your fingers and it's dry it feels like nail varnish when you've got nail varnish on your skin that's what it feels like and it'll just give it gives a very slight sheen it's flexible and it'll protect her I've made a slight boo boo in the corner just by her nose um i don't know if you can tell just there just right there i put the paper down uh, this trim down, decided it were in the wrong place and like an idiot I just pulled it off completely forgetting this was just paper so it's ripped her a tiny bit there um, but I'm not fussed, I mean you can only see that there because it's coming in on the camera um, so I've put the trim round I've put, um, this is a scrap um, yes I've got scraps now I used to call them spares, now I do have some scraps, but I'm using them all on this project, all of them, as many as I can get away with. Um, some of that little trim, where did I get that from? I think Irene sent me that. This is some of the tulip trim, beautiful it is, so I've just cut two for there and two for there, I got that in a kit, and I'm really into this um, burgundy colour for vintage things at the moment, I just love it. So I've put one at each corner and then what I've done is I've got some little tiny roses. These are 15ml flowers, these. And these are the little tiny, they must be 10. Uh, and they were white. So to get them in the right colour, I have just dabbed them with Victorian velvet. Just very lightly brushed them with my little handmade tool. Just to give them a hint of a burgundy colour. And I'm going to just put them at each side. Like so, if my glue gun will work. Because I've got some new glue sticks off the internet. And my glue gun just does not seem to like them. I don't know if they cost the cheap. I don't know how. And then I'm just going to butt them up against 
one at each side. Um, Lex and my dad have gone for a walk in backfield, probably going to pick buttercups. Bless her. She spied them through the fence today when we were gardening. She went, look at all them buttercups, can we climb over? Bless her. My back fence is full of barbed wire to stop horses getting in my garden. <laughs> I had horses in my garden the other year, we eating, eating on the trees. It's <laughs> um, what you get living out in the countryside, I suppose. So I'm just putting these here. I'm getting desperately low on flowers. I've just ordered some from Wild Orchid Crafts. So let's see what they're like. I hope they're nice. Else I'm not going to be impressed because I don't like spending money. But I do like using these little flowers there. So I've just done that like that. Okay. Now, I'm not too sure yet, but I think that's all I'm actually going to do on that page because I really want to be able to still see these doilies. I love this, you know, this shaping. So on the, where you can see the doilies, like on that side it's going to be felt and that side's going to be doily. I'm going to try and leave them as plain as I can so you can see it. And what I might do is put, um, you know, like a gathered lace behind on this so that it protrudes so you can see a ruffle round but on the actual doily there I want it as plain as I can because I want to be able to see it you know it's a pretty doily and they're nice and I don't want it blathered in stuff and um, which is why I'm just using little oddments here and here and then I will put more stuff on this bit that is um the lily felt so that's my plan Right, I'm going to go for now and I'll come back when I've done some more and then I can show you what I've done. Alright ladies, um, thanks for watching. Um, any comments, queries, questions, bank details, leave them in the description box below. <laughs> Bye for now.